Brace the pain like I'm Nagato. Got no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hello, guys. My name is Nagato, and welcome back to my channel. For today's tutorial, basically, I'm going to be showcasing on how to install PlayStation 1 Classic games onto your modded PS3. As I like to state in all my videos, uh, some prerequisites before we even get started into, you know, the nitty and gritty stuff. What you need for this video is either a modded PlayStation 3. I'm using uh, custom firmware. So in this case, I'm using Rebug 4.84.2 on Kex today. Um, this method does work on deck systems as well. Uh, you will also need the latest version of Multiman. I will have, you know, any file that I state in this video will be in a link in the description below. And also you need, you know, whatever PlayStation 1 game in either uh, ISO format or bin format. I prefer that um, you're, you get your games that are in ISO format. And I'll do a little tutorial later on how to convert bin to ISO games so you can make them run on your PlayStation uh, 3. Uh, but with that being said, once you basically download the latest version of Multiman and find whatever uh, PlayStation 1 game as a ISO format, what you need now is your USB. In this case, uh, make sure to plug your USB into your PC. And then from there, make sure that your USB is formatted to FAT32. As you see here, what you wanna do now is go to local disk, go to properties. And then from here, you should see that your file system is on FAT32. Let's say if your thing or your USB drive is not on FAT32, what you wanna do now is go ahead and right click, go to properties or excuse me, just right click, go to format, and then you wanna hover over the file system and you wanna to toggle to FAT32, and then you wanna click this little uh, checkbox for quick format and then start. But before um, you wanna click start, it's, you know, make sure you uh, have all your data backed up due to the fact that once you format any USB drive, and that's just, you know, the common rule of thumb, um, that basically when you reformat your hard drive or you, any USB stick, you're going to lose your data. So before, let's say, you know, you may have important files, go ahead and back that up on either another USB or just on your desktop to your PC. But with that being said, that's how you would uh, basically format your thing. Once your thing is formatted to FAT32, what you want to do is create a new folder onto your thing if you're going to be running it via... Um, via off your USB, excuse me, and you want to name it as PSX ISO. But in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and drag this um, file over to my USB. If you were going to run the game off your uh, USB drive, you just put it in the PSX ISO itself. But um, if not, you could just have that within the, um, the root of your uh, folder. Also, you, what you want to drag over as well, as long as your game is the multi-man uh, PKG file, the latest version. I already have that installed on my PS3, so I'm not going to recopy it over, but I'll show you guys on how to install the PKG as well. I'm going to let this do its thing. Um, I'm going to meet y'all guys back on the PlayStation 3 and then explain more on how to do this. So I'll meet you guys on the PS3. Okay guys, so once you're back on your PlayStation 3, make sure your USB that is formatted to FAT32 with your game on it is inserted into either USB drive on your PlayStation 3. You should be in your main menu or your X and B. What you want to do now is go ahead and go to the column where it says game. Scroll all the way down or up to package manager. Go ahead and click X. You're going to go to the second option, which is to install package files. Go ahead and click through that. And then, then you want to choose the third option. And then within the third option, go ahead and install Multiman, the latest version. And it should be on your USB drive if you did the PC portion of this uh, tutorial. Uh, I'm not going to install it due to the fact that I've already installed it. So I don't want to waste any more time with the video. But once your uh, Multiman package has installed, what you want to do is go ahead and boot it up just like any other homebrew. And then it may take a little while for me uh, to boot up. But once it boots up, where you want to go to now is all the way to the left. Where 
it says and the second option where it says file manager slash um, MMOS which stands for multi-man operating system go ahead and click X on that and now you want to go to this little uh, folder right here called PS3 root and now you should see all your directories on your PS3 the one we're going to be focused on uh, right now is dev underscore USB 000 yours may say dev underscore USB 001 or 002 it just all depends on where you have your USB um, uh, sticked in maybe to your left or right slot but in this case mine is a 000 as long as you see dev underscore USB you're fine so what you want to do is go ahead and click double X now you should see your USB and all your contents on it. In this case, we're going to focus on the PlayStation 1 game. So mine is Marvel vs. Capcom. This is the one I'm using for this tutorial. So what you want to do is either use your analog stick or D-pad. Go ahead and hover over the game. Click X once. And then what you want to do now is go ahead and click circle. And it should boot up this little menu. The first uh, option you want to do, of course, is go ahead and copy it because we're trying to put it into a certain directory under your hard drive so we can mount the game properly. So go ahead and click X. And then you should get a little notification here that states that it's been clipped. Now what you want to do now is you can X out that um, window and now you want to go to PS3 root again. And now we're going to go to this uh, directory right here, dev underscore HDD zero. And this is basically your PlayStation 3 hard drive. And now from here, you want to go to PSX ISOs, and this is where we're going to dump Marvel vs. Capcom. So just double click X to get in here, hover over uh, this little window, and then press circle, and then go ahead and press paste from Marvel vs. Capcom. Um, depending on the file size, the game may take a little longer since the game is only 408 megabytes. It shouldn't take too long, so I'm going to let it uh, do its thing. And then from there, I'm going to show you guys on how to mount the game to your XMB and then boot it uh, from, you know, without having the actual disk in. So I got like 10 seconds left, so it shouldn't take too much longer. All right, so the game is done. Now what you want to do is go ahead and hit R1 on your uh, PS3 controller. Now what you want to do from here is go into the game section right here and it should automatically put you there. Go ahead and hit refresh. And now what you want to do from there is go all the way to where it says retro and you should see your uh, PlayStation 1 game or whatever game it is. In this case, mine is Marvel vs. Capcom. Go ahead and hit X and it's going to boot you back out to the XMB. And now you have successfully uh, mounted your PlayStation 1 ISO. Then from here, what you want to do now is go ahead and scroll all the way up and you just see something called PlayStation Format Disk. I'm going to pause the video right here since I know my uh, capture card acts a little wonky anytime I try to boot a PlayStation 1 or PS2 uh, ISO. But I'm going to show you guys on how to basically some little tips and tricks on how to make your uh, PlayStation 1 gaming uh, experience a little bit better on PS3. And I'll show you that once I boot up the ISO. Once I split this video. Okay guys, so you should see the PlayStation 1 game that has booted right onto my screen as of right now. What you want to do is if you want to uh, hold down your PlayStation 3 home button for uh, like 2 or 3 seconds, you should get this little menu where you could assign slots for basically for internal memory cards if you had that set up basically for the XMB. If you also want to set up your controller settings, if you want to have digital or analog mode, and you can also reassign controllers from here. If with the other game settings right here, you could, you know, make your game full screen and also add smoothing, which I highly suggest with PlayStation 1 games since, you know, the games do look outdated for 2019 standards. And it makes, you know, PlayStation 1 experience just a little bit better and, you know, some of the textures doesn't look so jagged. Um, but you can reset the game if they have any issues, turn off your system, and also turn off your controller. But as you see here, um, I'm running Marvel vs. Capcom in real time. And that's basically, guys, on how to, you know, run your classic PlayStation 1 games on your modded PS3. If you guys have any other questions, please, you know, leave a like and comment below. If you do like my content, I'll try to message y'all back. But with that being said, my name is Nagato, and thank you guys for watching. I'm signing out.